The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello? All right. Very good, very good. Thank you. So I'm connected nice and clean. Very good. Good, good, good. good. <clears throat> yeah, I got to make sure this computer thing, you know. <laughs> I did, I, I recorded a webinar like an, almost an hour and yesterday. Uh, and uh, it wasn't about the forest, though. It was about some NLP thing. And um, later on, I found out that this was just a movie without sound. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> the whole hour went <laughs> down the drain. <laughs> so you gotta make sure you know these things uh, work properly before you start. Um, yeah, this is uh, NLP. I was um, actually doing something. I'm, I'm putting things together. Uh, I don't know. Any, any, if, uh, any of you know about NLP? Good. Yeah, good, Bella. You know that, right? Okay. Have you studied any? Any books? Anything? Oh, okay. No, you should do that. You should do that. It's very good. I'm putting a few things together. Yeah, yeah. Um, Silva method is um, is a little different. Uh, this Jose Silva actually, um, who's this? Uh, let me see. Omar, okay. Yeah, now, see, Jose Silva, um, is in Texas, and um, he, he actually he passed away. Uh, his brother Alex Silva is running the show now. Uh, long time ago, he discovered when he was experimental uh, sp experimenting on her five-year-old daughter. <laughs> so he invented something that's different. That's not NLP. NLP is uh, invented by Richard Bandler and John Grinder. John Grinder uh, both are like psychologists. So Grinder gave him. Uh, Richard uh, a task to do something. There was a big uh, psychologist. Uh, I think it was Andres or something. Forget, forgetting her name. She was very good. So uh, John Grinder wanted to know uh, how she does these things. You know, so she was like a family psychiatrist, and uh, anybody comes uh, to her and uh, you know, walks away with it all you know fine and dandy and happy and everything. So he was like, "What does she do?" So he put Richard on her <laughs> to find out what exactly she's doing. While uh, Richard was uh, doing the investigation, he found some new things on his own. So that has become uh, this new field, uh, neurolinguistic programming. Very interesting. I tried it. Uh, if, uh, I had um, 10 years ago, I guess. Yeah. I uh, There was another very uh, uh, big uh, speaker on that topic expert so I, uh, I invited him in Miami uh, Barry University I uh, hold a webinar there I mean not webinar seminar <laughs> I you know I got a, a lot of people and then did it so he, he taught us a lot of things good things and then I study I got all the books from Richard Bandler and John Quinn <laughs> uh, Frog into Princess uh, Transformation Structure of Magic blah 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 you know. so it's very interesting uh, it is uh, how you can change your uh, the DVD or CD of your mind and get out of this, uh, all the garbage we collect over the years. Uh, bad uh, experiments and bad uh, things get anchored in our mind. And uh, if you don't get rid of them, they will constantly uh, affect your life on a daily basis, believe me or not. So once you erase all those nonsense and uh, record new things over it, then your DVD is brand new, <laughs> and that will deflect. Uh, so I'm going to make a, a few videos on that, and then uh, probably will give you guys too. Anyway, so forget about that topic now. Uh, back to our real topic, right? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this is, um, uh, okay, last week, uh, Friday, I see I sent out a chart, um, was Euro Index, right? Euro daily chart okay with the four hour chart we were um, we had this um, 
bad pattern uh, calculation and we were expecting that this thing probably will do that remember that this this chart I sent out before a few days ago um, but it went as high as to this high I not noticed that uh, a little late but uh, you know it was also I was paying attention to 61 percent level actually so these levels 61 percent 78 percent they are you know always have a reaction up there always uh, so uh, first pullback was 50, then you know 23.6. So what it, it was a very good chance that it will go up uh, and make a bad pattern. But uh, even if you have these calculation, you know this market is too big to follow those, uh, you know, strictly um, harmonic patterns. So Elliot behave or whatever, you know, she does whatever she wants. So we just uh, speculate that okay, this is this is you know this the shape looks like this. So in the past it did this. So you know let's follow it and. Uh, see if we can do it so but even even though you know it went up a little bit right from here uh, it was here when I sent out the chart so we went you know pretty nice up and then you know, uh, halfway I was correct <laughs> but then uh, something happened and then I think uh, German numbers came out real bad uh, not real bad but you know it's like uh, not good okay so Germany is also uh, I don't know can't tell big countries you know I'm a small guy <laughs> so, uh, not economist <laughs> anyway so but uh, the, the you know the, the news of the figures are coming um, disturbing so uh, Germany been helping a lot of people in Eurozone in the past in the last you know four or five years trying to bring everybody up but now who's gonna save Germany that's the question right so <clears throat> That's why we might have a euro in trouble a little bit, and uh, if they find any solution, uh, you know, or not, uh, let's see what happens. So right now, euro is in trouble. Okay, so it is going down. So this is as far as it went, and if you look at the bigger picture, you will see that euro been um, going um, in an uptrend for a long time. Let's see. Um, okay, here, oh, man, move this. Okay, and this is uh, uh, what the picture is now. And let's analyze it because I, I wanted to do it before, but the thing is that uh, there are some new people and they need to learn uh, how to do the fib, um, you know, Fibonacci and how to do this calculation firsthand. So that's why I choose, you know, that I will do all this in front of you guys. Um, okay, this is, in, if you pull this, it doesn't give us anything, so forget about that. Let's um, take a look from here. Um, this is a monthly chart, by the way. Okay. So now we are at 112 extension, and we can easily go to 127. That's another. But if we go from here, that's what I was actually expecting. But now, um, let's see um, this high. See this wobble here? This is how accurate is this thing is. If you see this um, this area here, this is a supply zone. The price came here, and it's a, it's a weekly chart. So one, two, three, almost four week. It was ranging here for the whole month, and then all of a sudden they slap them and you know send it down, right? So this was the top here. What is the number of this candle? It's high, two point four one. 65 so 41 65 we made a high here 41 61 it's amazing okay it's very very uh, amazing to me because this is a monthly uh, this is a weekly chart and you go as close as four pips apart only that's all 41 61 and this high candle here of the range 41.65 okay very very accurate so it from there it's coming down again so we have some supply left here which probably gonna work out here so let's watch this one and uh, the daily chart of this is telling us this you know this is a fib I draw and uh, we are coming down if we're coming down because the rising tier is broken already 
see this okay so it's uh, nice and clean we broke it and we close below it the daily candle closed very cleanly below this uh, level and it's a big strong candle now this is a channel okay and if you go with this channel it's all you know not exactly there but very close um, actually what really happened I have another chart where it go I don't know anyway so we're going to be watching this level if it is coming this way then euro uh, and all the euro uh, pairs uh, you know in trouble to the downside now okay um, where did that chart go I'm switching all these charts. First of all, I'm in the, on this computer. I'm, I'm doing everything brand new, and, and uh, we'll be doing webinars from this one. But I had to erase everything, and bring it back to factory because I messed up the, some files using FileZilla. Uh, trying to use it, and, and I screwed everything up. So anyway, forget it. Uh, what we have, we have right here. So all these horizontal lines uh, I draw here, and then it's very interesting that you know how they play. I'll show you in a little while. But watch out for this level. This is a chart now. We're not going up, uh, and we are coming down in euro. Uh, now compared to that, what's happening in um, USDX, so that we can analyze euro USD later, right? So if Euro is coming down, let's go check what's happening on USDX, US dollar. Now, if you remember my old chart, if I can find it, okay, I found it. See, I, I, I learned pretty much how to uh, move around in this Windows 8, <laughs> finally, a little bit. Okay, this is my old chart, October 18 we came down here and I said if this black TL hold and if the price turns to the upside then we go we may go to finish this bad pattern because the bad pattern is because this is it this touch here B point is 50 percent and then it came down to touch this 23.6 percent line perfect both are my points perfectly touched and then after that it start going up strongly a little wobble here just to fulfill this uh, channel touch here okay from here to here this you know it's, it's almost a channel even though this line is a part of this uh, triangle but if you can see this the distance between this black line and this blue the same so it is a channel and now after that I say well if this TL or channel TL hold we will go up so now we are going up so far we are halfway we are around I think this area right now right let's go see the chart yeah nope where is that chart? Oh, I don't have it. Okay, forget it. But see, this is uh, bouncing, and then the D point is somewhere here, so we are almost halfway. But watch out this for this channel here. Okay, it is going up. It's going to hit this high and this channel line, and then it may pull back before, uh, you know, breaking it up. So it will pull, may pull back to this uh, high a little bit, and then, you know, break it and go up. So we will watch it. Uh, whatever it is but for now it is going up okay for now right now at this moment uh, Monday we have two things we have euro coming down we have USDX getting strong so what do you think that was gonna happen to euro USD I don't even have to tell you can anybody tell me please if euro is getting weaker and USD getting strong what will happen and Euro USD, <clears throat> okay, very good, and all, almost all of you. <laughs> all right, so is it going down? Is it already started or what? Let's go check. See, this is how step by step you do it. And uh, okay, another chart that I would like to show you from the past is. Which one was that? USD Weekly. I don't know. Let's open this. 
Okay, this no, not this one. This one. Remember this? And I actually had a, a chart even before this. Uh, when it was all the way up. So I said, well, we will be coming down here. First target was 33.33, but my uh, ultimate target is somehow, I don't know why, but it's 40, uh, 31.45. Well, let's see. First thing is first. Okay. So from here, we already, you know, uh, coming down. What happened, man? So far, we are not even here. Okay, forget it. Let's go check the real um, chart. So this is the real picture now. Okay, the same chart, but I don't have the time, you know, it's <coughs> different, uh, different computer. <coughs> but from this TL, so we are coming very strongly. This is your USD weekly chart, by the way. And this rising TL is already broken, just like Euro index showing that. So from there, it's this area here, I think it's 34 or something, right? 34.15 may give us a little uh, bounce. So be aware of that. And another one is very close. I think this one, 34.85. This is an old number, and this is a part of my sheet, right? 30, 34.85, uh, Euro USD SNR sheet, Euro USD level. It's in our level sheet. <clears throat> so 34.85 is uh, part of it. I have not included this number yet, but this is uh, this number, this number, you know, they become important numbers, so we need to add that on our list. This is also 37.10. It's not in the list yet. My old, my lists are uh, old, so, you know, uh, almost a, maybe a year, year and a half. So we made a lot of, uh, you know, small, uh, weekly ups and downs. Usually they are exactly and you know, most of the time are the same as the previous, uh, you know, highs and lows, you know, on, on the weekly. Uh, but, you know, sometimes they're like 3710 is a new number. Okay, it's a new high here. So it's very important. So we have to add it in the list. But for now, <coughs> your USD is nice and clean coming down. So watch out for uh, the short setups. Uh, Sunday uh, we will open, and then we probably just uh, go down very fast because uh, the Friday something happens, some news or something, uh, and then you will start getting weaker very fast. So I don't know. Let's see <coughs> what happens. Again, if then, if then. Remember, is Sean? Are you Sean, is Sean here? Sean, are you here? All right, all right, Sean. Okay, everybody, I wanted to, I want to let you know that Sean sent me an email uh, on Friday uh, or Saturday, maybe, saying that he made last week 440 pips, and what it what he did it was uh, uh, very good. Uh, and I've been explaining that I don't know how many of you got it. That my charts are like okay, I, you know, uh, all the analysis telling that okay, this thing, if we break this level, goes down and look for short. What if not? Then it's not going to go left, right? So it has to either go down or up. So uh, it's, you know, uh, uh, already understanding understanding that, you know, if 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 I tell you that, if, okay, uh, it looks like it's going to break this level and goes down, and if something happens and that doesn't happen and the level holds instead of breaking and then start going up, obviously, you know, we look for long setups and just if you see that and even if I don't send you send you a chart or whatever because then I have to redo the whole analysis again uh, and but the immediate reaction should be if uh, if let's say if I said that okay this uh, this TL uh, is breaking and go short it is breaking right and you find a short setup either five minute or one minute you will definitely find a setup I can guarantee you that if not 550 one minute you always find a setup before it drops not always, but, you know, 95%. <laughs> but uh, the thing is that um, what if this thing holds and it goes back up? That means uh, it's a denial, and if you're not going down, then we're going to go up. So if the price goes above the wave and then give you a long setup, just take it. So that's what he did. He, uh, I sent a chart, I think it was a pound yen, I guess, right? Pound yen, uh, staying down, but, you know, it didn't go. 
and uh, you know it went up and uh, Sean got in there and I don't, you know how many you know, I, I, was, I didn't I didn't trade that I forgot I was doing something else but uh, this is what you should do you know like I think New Z, uh chart I sent out New Zealand uh, it didn't play out uh, even though the that that thing is holding that um, Kiwi index let me show you that uh, it's holding there in place but the problem is the yen is getting strong so that thing is just see this one uh, this is uh, New Zealand yen pair so I said well if it bounces from here then it goes up but it never you know it dropped there but it still have a good chance of bouncing from this here because it's still huge support here okay and uh, it just came in touched it see this area you should uh, draw this zone covering the wicks only okay the wick of this 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 so you notice that uh, this candle came and posted a wick inside it and but close above it so it's a very good you know sign that might hold but what what about the index that i sent out and i told you that uh, it's gonna get strong it's still holding that i don't have it here oh here okay see uh Oh no, I had it here, maybe, you know, I thought maybe it's going to bounce from there, but it came down to this band anyway. Remember this band? I was explaining this. That if, if it doesn't bounce from the trend line, then it will drop on this level here. So it, it already dropped and pulling back, but it's very skeptical, so don't do anything on that one. Don't know what's going to happen. Um, Kiwi is uh, one of those pairs that I don't pay too much attention for trade. But, you know, you just, I, I like to do analysis on almost everything, all the pairs, USD pairs especially. But anyway, <clears throat> so Euro is down, USDX going up strongly. Now, if USDX is going strong, what else we can uh, play? Uh, pound also getting strong. Pound index is being going up very, very strong. Whoops. What happened here? Lost my chart. Man. Okay, maybe here. All right. Um, see, this is, um, I draw a fib from here. Don't have much on the pound index. What is it going to do? But this area, this, uh, when you draw a fib here, then you can, you notice that the price went up here and touched this 38%. Uh, and this high was that right here and then it came down on this low area and also 11.4 percent so and then we went up again you know regard this area nicely and so if you see that the you know the fib lines are regarding then it is the correct fib most of the time so you know the fib number was here 50 percent see how uh, it touched it touched here 11.4 percent and bounce very you know touched here very close that so I said okay let's uh, work with this fib and see what's going on so now uh, here it went above the 61 percent came down touch it and bounce very nice and clean very perfect touch it was also the highs here right this these two weeks so this is the area uh, uh, rejection from here and then we went above this area finding support here so basically what I'm looking is a touch of this 78% level 78% level touch and we will we should be going down a little bit at least to this high back to 50% line until then it's not coming down right now okay so Trading pound USD because if USD is getting strong and pound is getting strong, then that pair is not the one we want. What's happening though? This is what's happening on a four-hour chart. Um, it went up uh, because of, this is a news reaction. It went up, hit the monthly pivot. This is uh, you know you draw this here, put it here, channel hit, and the monthly pivot and this high now is dropping. So God only knows what's gonna do. Uh, pound is getting strong, USD gets strong. I uh, will stuck with uh, <laughs> uh, Euro USD is much better to trade right now. But is there anything else? Our favorite pair, where it go? 
this one, right? This one gave us very nice uh, pippage. Not too much, but yeah, you know, still. Here's the weekly chart. And ah, stop here. Okay, let's see if I can show you here the index. Okay, this is the Frankie, Frankie index. And as you can see that it's a very strong uptrend, right? But if you look at the monthly, this is what it looks like. And it is, will turn into, Okay, it's exactly at 50%. So now may come down a little bit. First thing is this high, second this is these you know, trend lines and then trend lines and whatever. But the, the point is that it looks like it's coming down. Okay, the very nice bearish candle, weekly candle, black. First was like a shooting star and then a bearish candle. It's a strong sign. So it, it's it, the reading of this chart, the weekly chart of uh, Frankie index is that it's going to get weaker and that is uh, coinciding with our uh, chart of man, it's up here. okay this is the one it was actually daily remember I send down daily or weekly let me see if I have the charts here Man. Okay, this is one of them. Uh, weekly chart, December 31st. My boy's birthday. Uh, see, I sent out this chart that this channel and everything, you know, so weekly charts and 50% hit and then it's ABC going up, then ABC. So this whole thing is A, this is B. I don't, I don't have that chart here, but you should have it. So this whole thing is B, A, B, and then we need to finish C somewhere here. This is the logical thing of, you know, this whole thing drop. And uh, the FIB would be, should be somewhere uh, like maybe 61% or whatever. Let's go and take a look. Turn into this weekly chart. Oh, okay. All right, so it was a 61% here. And then man, I'll make this visualize on the four hour chart so that it's there, but it's out of the way. Okay, now get out. All, right, all these numbers now. Okay, forget it. So this is, um, this line is 38%. 68, 38. Right, uh, bad pattern calculation was a 50% to 23% line, but it instead of 50, it goes a little bit higher. Then it stays a little bit higher here too. So 50, it is 61%. It's very common that it 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 it's bounced from 38%, uh, placing a point C. If it is X, A, B, and C, and then we go for D, 78%. Uh, that would be a perfect girdle, right? 60% and then second pullback, 78%. So this is um something that we need to watch very closely and that's why um, I don't have those do I have those charts oh yeah see this one I send out that what 114 uh, that's gonna go up from here because when it's going up on a weekly chart this direction says okay we are going up for maybe 400 500 600 whatever so just keep looking for these uh, um, pullbacks and then just hit on that uh, higher time frame direction whatever we have so we have now in hand that you know Frankie need to go up on a weekly chart so every time this happened we will hit so it came down and it went up but it didn't go it's, it's not gonna go in a straight line usually it see it does sometimes like this one here but when the move starts usually it goes like up here then pull back a little bit and then go up like you know Elliott wave one two three four five kind of thing 
So it might be doing that. So it was here, but I think the current chart showing that pullback a little bit, right? Let me go on the four hour chart. Okay, here, right? So we went up here, close, came back, touched this TL, and then bouncing back again. This is another sign or a confirmation that Euro USD is going to drop because this is a mirrored pair for Euro USD. USD franc, Euro USD drops, USD franc goes up. Okay, so we are uh, very close to this high here again. This is a big number, 91.29. If you remember this number, let me show you where it is. 91.29 is a thing. Is this one? This oh man. Low is this is 92.05. I think it's this one. 91.46. Where's the 29? I put too many things there, and now I'm having a problem finding things. This number is coming in the way. See, the technique is to make this visualization only on four-hour charts, so they disappeared from this here. They will still show up on a four-hour chart. All right, so, oh, man. <sighs> One more to go. Okay. One of these is 91.29. This is the one. See, now it got it. This is 91.29. It's a big number. It's a big drop and bounce. So always remember this big number. So we are going to face that number pretty soon. And if you break that, that would be a free uh, fly zone. This is 91.29 white line. Okay. And we touch that one before dropping. Okay. That's the number. It plays out always. Uh, Sean, uh, but, okay. The long-term target, um, well, I can just give you the idea of the way it looks. But like I said, um, we just go by if, then, if, then, step by step. But the long term is the, let me show you this. So, Gertle pattern is in the making. Gertle pattern, if I can show you. Where is that thing? Here? No, I kind of lost that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oops. Hold on just a minute. I transfer these charts from somewhere else. And they are different places. And I think I'm missing some here. Hmm. Anyway, let, let me show you this one. Okay, this is a bullish girdle. Why am I showing bullish girdle? Oops. Okay, let me go real quick. What are these? This is a like a bearish girdle pattern, okay? Okay, so you have X, A, then B must be 61 pointed percent, must be. If it is 50, then you know that that's some kind of bad or something. If it is 75 percent, then it is going to be a butterfly, not girdle. We call it different names. So if it is exactly 61 pointed percent, and then it comes down from create a point C somewhere here, maybe around 50% or 38%, and then go for 78%. Okay. So this is, uh, this, this, you have this diagram, right? Always keep it in mind. Uh, I mean, uh, 
print out and, and keep it on the site. So what you are uh, having here now, just keep in mind this picture and look at this here. XA, this exactly went up to touch the 61% to the pip. Drop. Then it came down A, B, C fashion. This is also a small A, B, C makes A, then it's B, C. It's a correction. It's a perfect by the book correction. So this whole thing becomes A. Okay, capital A. Whoops. Okay, this is A now. All right, and then you can say that, okay, uh, this one, small a, a, b, c, three legs, exact. Not always exact, but, okay, so a, b, c, a, then you have a, B, C at 38%. Okay, this is how you do it. So now this whole thing becomes B. We need C at 78% to finish a girdle. Okay, now if you, whoops, I don't want that. All right, does it look like familiar pattern? This we we might be going like A B or maybe. C waves usually have five waves in it. So, you know, so maybe one, two, then three, big one, and then four, and then slowly goes five. So this is uh, the book, is, the textbook is telling right now, correct, you know. Text, uh, this is uh, the text, you are welcome. Uh, this is a textbook um, uh, uh, you know, a pattern, a very, very accurate pattern, and if that happens, or not, I don't know, at this point we are too far from there, but we will go by, you know, little by little, no problem. And so on the four hour chart, what we have now here is that uh, if if you notice that first thing what we can think of, okay, what we can think of, that look at this, this drop here and this pullback. This drop here and this pullback is exactly 78%. 78.6%. That is the characteristic we just saw. It's a characteristic of a butterfly. No, we didn't see that. So let me show you that. The, what happened in case of butterfly pattern? Why it becomes a butterfly? Especially, but we need a bearish. Where is it, man? Butterfly flew away, I guess. Oh, right here. Okay. See, X, A, this big move and then first pullback, because you are in an uptrend, then, you know, we need to think of above, not below. So if this is X, A, and the B goes to 78.6%. Uh, we just saw a girdle, layer, it was a 61.8%. 60, then it fin usually finishes 78% and, uh, and drop. And if we need to go up, then it will be what? Uh, my favorite, uh, favorite term, the failed girdle. Layer. It will be filled, dropping below, and then it will be like one, two, then one, that would be a two, and then three, four, five to the upside. That is a failed girdle creates a third wave in Elliott wave. It's very powerful, okay? So either way, we, we you know, you have opportunity. If girdle plays out, the downside, fine, thank you very much. We go short. But if you hold the turn line holds, and if it becomes a failed girdle, the, that pattern fails, but your Elliott wave passes. <laughs> you know, that would be one, two, one, two, and then followed by three, four, five, the upside. So either way, you make money. 
you can you know you collect pips uh, I need to I need to do a webinar on that too. again it's a refreshment but anyway the so butterfly is XA then the first pullback is at 78.6 percent then it comes down to create anything you know so usually around 50 percent or 61 percent it could be 38 percent anything but you know just make sure that it's coming down 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 and then it turns to the upside then you, you know, see oh, oh something is cooking and then we start following that so let's see come you know keep this picture in mind and look at this here x a you went up to 78.6 percent you came down you this is c so this is x a b we posted c at 38 percent of this fib which was a pullback of 68 percent so i mean 61.8 percent exactly so see how nice and you know i saw this but i said well you know too many charts i already sent out so i don't want to be you know, uh, flooding you guys with different charts but this is uh, at this point i was uh, thinking to you know make this chart and send out you know x a b c and then goes for the d so anyway see this 61 percent line was touched by the pip you know very very nice touch and then pull back so that was obviously rejection going up so but where is going now if it is a 78 percent full pullback at b and then we have c and b already broken we are breaking this b point now go back and let's see what we can do now see this b point the price going up and breaking it right we are above it so the first trade was you know start that trend line i should have sent that chart but anyway, you know, you already made some, so <laughs> we cannot catch every single pip. Uh, these charts, these, these patterns, these trend line bounce everywhere, man, everywhere. If you look at it, I mean, I, I'll, if I start sending out everything to you guys, I mean, it will be probably 10, 15 charts a day. Then, you know, you'll get confused and, you know, that would be like information overload. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't want that to happen. So few charts make, you know, 50 hit, 40 hit, 30 year, you know, make your daily 100, 150, whatever. But the C point is here and then start bouncing. We're already breaking this. So what are the rules? First trade, buy at point C, which we miss. Okay, no problem. We didn't lose, we miss. But now you have a chance for second Monday coming in. It will going to break it cleanly, then it come, comes back. But if it is broken and then even if it comes back, we will be going up. The point is that it broke and then it retraces anyway, you know, sometimes, most of the times. So that's not an issue. If it doesn't break, if it, this area holds, then you can think that, okay, it's not going to go up and then it will start dropping. Then you wait for this rising TL to break to the downside and start taking trades to the short side. But now we are breaking up, so it's a very good chance. Then, So now, even though on a weekly chart, we see that our long target is way above 78%. But like I said, we will go chunk by chunk. And right now, immediate chunk is this high. Because after that, this butterfly pattern will be finished and it will drop as a reaction. So you don't want to be get, you know, current dropping. You want to be, you know, take your profit, get out, and then let it drop, bounce. And then when it start bouncing again, be, uh, it, put, it should be. If once we get there and then if it drop, you can short, but be aware of this failed butterfly because our weekly chart says that USD franc will go up all the way. Why right, this message just keep coming? See, oh, oh man, our weekly chart is this, right? That uh, that butterfly is ending somewhere here. And, <laughs> you know, so it's a very very small thing. So we will go one by one. You know, as, if it keep going up. We will find these patterns. We will find Elliott waves, bounces from SNR level, trend line, and keep hitting to the long side. So immediate target that butterfly. After that, my 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 eyes will be on this high. This is you know this high, this high, and this point A here. Very very important. From this point A, we will definitely drop. Okay, uh, maybe on around this area, like this line here. Okay, so once we get there, because if I start uh, drawing those lines now, it will be very confusing. But if we get there at point A, then it, it should be, let's see, 
you can even do these uh, fib th fib things ahead of time. Okay, so if this point A is here, then that line is coming around 38%, which is perfect. Okay, so maybe you will drop, you know, around there or maybe on this high somewhere. So it, it's going to be one of these highs. The price doesn't go in random. Just here, there, you know, like you know, lose horse. No. It is always going on a weekly highs and lows towards, you know, making highs and lows. Exactly. See, this, we stop here for some, some, some reason. This, we stop here for some reason in the past. You, can, you know, if you look, you will see. Okay. So this is um, one chart that <coughs> uh, we will be looking to go up. And this could be we have one, two. Uh, this will be uh, going either 127 level or 1.618 uh, level. See, this butterfly pattern, it calls for two different levels. It could be 127 or 1.618. Okay, so 127 or 1.618, something like that. So 127 is coming right around here, which we don't want. We are very close to that anyway. But then... From compared to this, 78%, this 127, but 1.618, 1 of this FIB, see that this one? It's coming right exactly the same area, 90 to 13. 90 to 13 is also a very important level there. Uh, if you go back to look, 90 to 13. This one, this line. Basically, it's this one, or this level, this level. Looking for this level. Probably this one I have 92. Low is 90 to 14. See? This is a white line. So we bounce from here. We regarded this number here. We regarded this number sort of here. We regarded this number here, here. And now, if we go up, our 1.618 for that butterfly is coming exactly there, 92, 13. Okay. And T. See this number here? This fifth? No, don't worry about this fifth, okay? Why do I have two fifths anyway? Oh, forget about this. Okay, so this this is the fifth, and then extension one twenty one point six one eight is ninety two thirteen. That big number I just showed you on the weekly chart is ninety two fourteen. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. So we will be getting there, and then get out as soon as you touch it, or you can put a pending uh, uh, TP there. Okay, close ten, 10 pips before, and then if you if you go there, you 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 will probably if you if it breaks and goes, don't worry about it. Okay, you make a little bit, be happy with that. <laughs> if you miss something, don't worry about it. Just you know, we are concerned about not losing. We you no, know, we don't want to lose. Uh, you're gonna miss all the time. So you take a chunk. If it's a hundred point move, if you made 50, 40 out of it, be happy with that. So if you break this high, definitely going up there. This is the next target for you. Uh, then we will probably drop back to this high and then shoot further. Okay, so this is a couple of them. Um, time is running out. Uh, let me see. A couple of questions. Uh, okay, uh, 9213 is this 1.618 butterfly number coming in, and 9214 is a very big number. On the so they are, you know, both um, coinciding with each other. Now, let's go back a little bit uh, quickly. We want to see our yen and that. Oh, by the way, uh, CAD, I don't know how many. I don't trade CAD, but I saw something by the book. So I made a chart. I want to show you guys if you want to trade and, uh, you know, USD yen or CAD yen for that matter or whatever. This is perfect. Elliott wave count here. We have one, two. This is CAD index. Canadian dollar index, daily index, daily chart, daily chart. 
we have one, two, uh, perfectly 61.8% pullback, and all the way is like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, for C wave, exactly 1.618% right here, the blue line. Okay, 1.6103. So if this is one, two, three, even if it's A, B, C, then we go up for at least this high. So the rule is that we go back to the last degrees, fourth wave, which is this one right here. Okay, so the, when we go back, could be, you know, wobbling in A, B, C kind of fashion. But the Canadian dollar and now got weaker here. So if this, again, if this area hold, this thing can blow any harmonic pattern or right wave, it doesn't regard any, okay? It doesn't care about anything. But uh, if things are normal, and if you see these things, uh, you know, this is what happens usually. So if we start seeing that, then you know that it is going to fulfill this. Uh, profits. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this is uh, for uh, uh, oh wave uh, four should be uh, thirty-eight percent of wave three, which wave three is from here to here. So if you draw the fifth, the thirty-eight percent is coming exactly to the last fourth wave also. Okay, and hundred percent of this uh, fifth extension to one point six one eight hundred percent is coming here. Thirty-eight percent is coming here, and the rule is also it should go to the last fourth wave which is right around here so everything is pointing this area let's see what happens uh, yeah if, if it goes up then it should be getting strong but the point is this is an index so if the Canadian data start going strong, then you have to look for this, the other, you know, uh, pair because we just saw that USD index is also getting strong. It is going up. So if both currencies are going up, then USD CAD not going to come down, probably. You understand what I'm saying? You can say uh, CAD, Aussie CAD, going to get killed <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> because Aussie, Aussie is very, very weak. Okay, so you might want to uh, check that uh, pair because I don't trade that. <laughs> but let me let me show you what's happening. You will be surprised. Aussie cat. Whoa, you see that? <laughs> I just told you he's going to get killed. Um, you see, this is one hour chart, by the way, but, you know, the move started already. Aussie getting weaker, cat, you know, so... By looking by these indexes, you can pretty much tell what's what's the story on that. So this is our Aussie. Let's see what happened on a daily chart. Okay. Whoa. Never look at this chart. Hold on. I don't even trade this. It is off both sides. It's off a little bit higher than 50% and a little bit lower than 23.6%. But it was going up, then it came down. And uh, according to this thing, it should be going up. So I don't know. Maybe CAD will not bounce from there. Okay. Like I said, again, if then, if then. The book, by the book, uh, Elliott Wave calculation is there that, you know, that we need a fourth wave in CAD. Okay, Canadian dollar. So CAD is going to get strong, which is already started. So it may come down uh, here, here, or maybe here, and then you know, do something else. But that's what it is. So forget about that. This pair, I don't even trade or do anything with that. So what happened? Euro getting weaker and Aussie getting weaker. So Aussie, Euro Aussie need to be ranging, and it is. Uh, because Aussie, if the euro is getting weaker, then it's not going to push it. Aussie is already uh, weak. So when both currencies are weaker or stronger, or getting weaker or getting stronger, that pair goes into range. Um, what I was looking... Oh, um, the yen index. Right. And, okay, here. This is what it did. <clears throat> Uh, trend line bounce and horizontal level and drop. I missed that. I didn't send it out. Uh, but I, I remember that I've been telling you guys that 
a yen index is dropping, right? I I couldn't make this chart. Like I said, I mean, it's too many things, man. Too many charts to make. <laughs> Can't do all of them. But uh, do you see now the very clear picture? All right, this trend line here, it's horizontal here, and this candle is targeting this area here. So what does it tell you? Yen index dropping means yen is getting it strong. Yen is getting it strong and euro is get, uh, are getting uh, weaker. What should be uh, happening in euro yen? Yes, Sean, you, you need to find weaker. If, there, if, it's, if CAD starts going up, CAD index, then look for the weaker currency, which is Aussie for now, right now. Now, okay, on this one, Euro, we just saw that index is going up, getting strong, and this one is pointing this area. So, Euro Yen off the cliff. Let's go find out. Euro Yen weekly coming down already, right? And what is the target? Do I have to tell you? You guys are smarter than me, I know that. <laughs> All right, this is a very, very important level here. And this is your TL here, and this is the target. This area is coming down here. Okay, so watch out for that. Uh, after that, it may bounce. God knows, but for now, it is coming down. The trend is heavily strong, strongly to the upside. But that can change. Uh, for good, I don't know, but maybe just a little bit, you know, retracement and then continuation, uh, yen weakness, uh, time will tell. But right now, this is what it is. Okay, so it's coming down. Um, Euro, USD, I don't know, this pair is just, you know, being on my nerve. I want this to go and touch this TL and then the drop, but it's not doing that. I don't know why. So this is very clear that this is what it need to do. If it touches the steel, then we're going to drop back to maybe this low here easily. But right now, it's, um, it is holding up there because uh, USD getting strong. So this, this pair has USD in it, USD yen, and USD is holding it up. Maybe when USD is getting more strong, aha, uh -huh, that's probably going to, you know, I get, I'll, I'll get my wish uh, fulfilled anyway. <laughs> Next week, maybe it will go and touch the tier because the USD is getting strong. I need USD getting more strong than yen because yen is also getting strong. So if yen gets stronger than USD, it will drop. All right. So let's see which one is getting, you know, get more strong. All right. Let me read this. You guess in pound. Pound yen chart, okay, all right, let's go there and take a look at that. Pound yen chart um, <clears throat> should be ranging. All right, th yeah, that's what happened. See, uh, that news, uh, this is the chart that I send out that if we drop below this, it was very important, very essential to drop below this and then find setup somewhere here. Maybe, maybe you know, 170, 20, or one, below 170, you know, some something here, and then it will go down. But that never happened. We hold this level here, and then boom, the news came in, and then we went up. But also, again, we came down below it, this high. This high is holding. So this is uh, kind of tricky now because yen is getting strong, and pound is getting, well, it's been getting strong uh, for a long time. But it's not too far from uh, from uh, that 78.6 level I just showed you. So we have to be aware of the pound index that it's going, it's getting strong. Then, but it, it has very little distance uh, to the upside. Uh, after hitting that 78.6 percent, it will retrace. If not reverse, at least a retracement is uh, imminent. And if it does that, then all the pound, in, you know things, maybe this chart will just wobble around here and then come down. Let's watch. But Euro Yen is better than this one right now. Euro, is, we saw, is very, you know, getting very um, weak. If that continue, coming days, coming in the next, next week, 
and then uh, yen strength is going to kill that pair to the downside. All right. So a uh, little bit of uh, all this mumbo jumbo, and um, uh, you know, like yeah, last week was pretty good, right? And the Euro USD is giving us nice, and uh, Frankie has given us nice uh, pivot. So, uh, and then we have more to come, more to come on those two pairs, right? and Euro Yen. Okay, so Euro Yen is Aussie Yen, I don't know, we have time, it's one hour already, man. Um, Aussie is very weak, uh, oh, this, this could be a good pair, oh, man, yeah, see, I missed it, it's all right, no problem, next week. Um, see what's happening is that the yen is getting strong and Aussie is uh, you know weak as it is. So this probably look for these uh, this break of this low here. But technically this thing is showing me it's like one two three four five. Then it's A, just like Frankie we just saw it's A B C makes the A. This whole thing is gonna make the B, and then we need a C to upside here. That's one thing by the book, but what this market does, that's another. Uh, we follow the market, not the book. So, no, oh man, turn line. Okay, it is now here. Forget about that. Just go by the wicks. Okay, this is the area. We break it. Or we hold it. I don't know. Let's see. These two things are telling me that enough is enough. It might go up. So I don't know why, how uh, Aussie is going to get strong. Uh, yen is getting weaker for sure. I know that. Well, well, I should not be saying for sure, but you know, and, and that's the way it looks. But see, some pair give you clear picture, some contradictory. You know, it's like one th thing is saying something else, the other index is saying something else, and it says, well, how come? This, you know, so what do you do? You leave that pair and just watch it strongly uh, for the clear setup. So if not, then Euro Yen, I see, you know, is the best uh, Yen pair right now. And CAD Yen, yen or, you know, or the New Yen, just, just see. I don't want to, um, it's going to be too much then. See, the Yen strength is, uh, you know, CAD was uh, coming down, getting weaker. And Euro, I mean, this, um, this is one, two, three. Four, the fifth wave is coming. After that, will be a correction here, probably here, or maybe probably uh, CAD is going to get a little stronger, and then we'll go back to this level here. Should be 38 percent, or or it could go higher, 61, 51. But see, this is if you learn this, it's very clear. So look, one, two. This is wave three, big one. Then wave four, 38 percent, or whatever. And then it's going down. Or maybe wave four is not finished. Just A, B, and then C will make wave four. Yeah. So danger is that uh, if this area holds, this eleven point four. If this holds, that it it could go back to this thirty eight percent for wave four. You know, A, B, C. Wave four is always like that. Or this, if it's wave four, it can make a, like a, a B C D E like stop small like triangle kind of thing, and then drop for the fifth. But not clear, so I'm gonna leave it alone. New Zealand, it's supposed to bounce from there. It didn't. Came down to this level, and uh, again, yen is getting strong. That is pushing down, so we could go down even more further to this monthly TL and this 200 EMA or four hour chart. This could be uh, the area uh, next to the downside. So make sure that if you find a short setup, make sure it should be below 86 and 27, this 78% line. Okay, as long as you get a short setup below this, if we hold below this, then we might come down in this area before going up again because this pair is just, look at that. Okay, Kiwi is just strong. Okay, all right, so uh, I'm going to finish up here. Uh, don't want information overload. <laughs> okay, uh, enough is enough. And uh, I'll send uh, send out today's what Saturday. Then we have Sunday. Uh, okay, today in between today and tomorrow, I'll see if I find some more clear setup, a smaller time frame, one hour, four hour. Then I'll send out. 
but uh, for now a couple of things euro yen usd franc euro usd pay attention to all these three you should have at least 300 paper for the next week and uh, if i find more setups then more pips any question anybody don't hesitate to uh, uh you know if whatever you need to ask just email me okay and uh If not immediately, whenever I get a chance, I will answer back. You're welcome. All right, so um, this is it. No other question, then. All right, you all have a good weekend. Enjoy and get ready to make some good pips. Uh, we're going to get better and better, okay? January is passing by, and in February, we will be very, very good, uh, you know, getting out of the small ranges and making, you know, trending. Uh, the range will get higher and higher. Euro USD, pound USD should be doing at least 150 a day. Okay. 150, 200, that will be the normal range. All right. So uh, <coughs> um, have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. And talk to you guys soon.